What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioWise 3 Raw TV. Raw. Yes. People are stupid, buddy. Yeah, they're fucking stupid. Okay, tell them. Stupid motherfuckers. Okay, peace out. Bye. You with the peace out. Bye shit. Fucking stop watching Genova's video. Knock it off. Raw TV. Well, let's fix this fucking camera. I'm going to make that shit fucking square. Yesterday or last night, I put up this fucking photo on Instagram. Of course, it opens up a fucking can of worms to the fucking wrong people as always and it just shows me that there's a fucking shit ton of walking dead out there you guys are fucking i'm yes i don't care if you view this channel if you're a fucking fan you're the walking dead you're fucking stupid with some of the fucking things that you said it is a picture of holly holm who i didn't even know who the fuck holly holm was i don't follow mma i know who ronda rousey is i'm not a fucking ronda rousey fan i didn't go see the fight I could give a fuck less who wins so it was not a knock on her because fucking Ronda lost. I didn't give a fuck less. I didn't bet on it. I don't even know who the fuck people. Last time I really paid attention to MMA, Sean Shirk was a fucking champion, okay? So there was a picture of her that's all over the internet with like these pink fucking bottoms at a weigh-in. Apparently it's not the Ronda weigh-in, but it's at a weigh-in. And you can see the hypertrophy clit wrist on there fucking. It's like the size of my thumb. And I saw the picture and there was a debate going on in some forum about whether or not it was fucking steroid use, blah, blah, blah. And I said, this is interesting because... You know, nobody, I, I myself talk about, you know, don't fucking do steroids. Guys, don't do them because you're fucking, you can get gyno, you could get acne, you could get hair loss, but basically could shut your body down for the rest of your life. And I got an email from an individual today who like two years ago contacted me about using stuff. I told him not to. He used it and fucking shut himself down. And he's fucked up now. So, you know, I talk openly about fucking not using steroids for guys, not so much for women and Recently, within the last six months, I've gotten an influx of women clients, and many of them are using fucking different anabolics and performance enhancers based on other coaches' fucking advice and their stupid fucking boyfriends and husbands who are fucking retards. And what happens is things fuck up, things are not working out, so they contact me to fix what's going on, and they fucking, I don't know anything about it, and they send me fucking their intake form, and there's all these fucking things on there, I'm like, why are you doing this shit? You don't compete, you're never going to fucking compete, even if you did, you won't be a national level, there's no fucking reason to take these. In my, I'd say 99% of my people don't take a single fucking thing. No drugs, no women, no men. If they're in another country where it's legal and they decide to use them, that's fine, but I don't recommend, nor do I fucking tell people that they fucking should or shouldn't do this. I don't I don't do that. Okay? Not that I don't fucking that I'm an anti fucking drug guy, but I'm just saying that I don't believe I believe it's a time and place for everything and I believe that 99% of these fucking people shouldn't be playing with them. And I put up this picture about Holly and it shows the clitoris, clitoris and it's fucking like the size of my thumb and people some people they get it, other people outraged. Oh my god, Jerry, how can you this is mean. It's not mean. It's all over the fucking internet. There's a picture of her with a dick on the internet. She clearly fucking knows it's there. She's not fucking stupid. She knows what it looks like. She put on the fucking bottoms. And at the Ronda Rousey fight, she wore like a black pair of shorts. So she figured it out to wear something where it doesn't show again. But it's still there. It doesn't go away. Whether or not it's, it's natural or it's from fucking drug use doesn't matter. Bottom line is it's there. And not many people, not many women want to fucking see that. People go, oh, Jerry, maybe it's just a fat vagina. Motherfucker, that girl is fucking shredded like an Ethiopian. She's fucking peeled to the bone. You lose fat on your pubic bone too, motherfucker. It's not a fat pussy. That's not what it is, you dumb fucks. Maybe she was born that way. Maybe she was. But the bottom line is, a lot of women are not born that way, but wind up looking like that because their dumbass fucking boyfriends and coaches tell them to take something that does it, and then they fucking regret it, and then I wind up fucking talking to them about it later. So let's cut out the middleman right off the fucking bat and talk about it so that these fucking women know not to fucking do what these stupid fucking trainers and these stupid fucking boyfriends are telling them to do. If you want to have an enlarged clitoris, have fucking hair loss, which some women have, which fucking Monica Brandt did a video having hair plugs put in her hair because fucking her hair fell out. Have your voice deepened, shave your face. You want to do all that shit? I don't give a fuck. But there's a lot of women that don't. And they seem to be coming to me to find out how to fucking reverse this shit. And guess what? You fucking can't. Once it's done, it's done. I can't tell you how many fucking times... And some of the trainers and coaches out there, Jesus fucking Christ, not only do they encourage it, but they push it on their clients and fucking sell it. They supply it to their fucking clients. Okay, there are some coaches out there right now that don't even know how to get anybody in fucking shape unless they're on drugs. 90% of their fucking people are on drugs. Or they fucking, they supply them the fucking drugs. I recently had a woman sign up with me and I was shocked. She was taking a few different things. I said, why are you taking these? Well, to get lean. I'm like, right, but you're stuck. You're not getting leaner. They're not working. 
do you know why they're not working? And she said, no. I explained to her what was happening. When you take growth hormone, your body thyroid, the regulation of thyroid changes. Your body decreases thyroid. When people take growth hormone, guys, bros, bodybuilders, you take T3 with it. When you take clenbuterol, the fat burning effects stop. That's not just down to due to re, the receptor down regulating. Thyroid actually decreases while you're on the clen. When you start taking clenbuterol and you take a temperature, you'll see your, your temperature spike like a degree. After a while, you'll see that the temperature goes back down. That's not from receptor downgrade. That's from thyroid regulation down regulating. You've fucking shut your thyroid down to a certain point. Like, you guys don't even know what the fuck this shit does. Most fucking trainers don't. And they give them the shit, or they fucking tell them to take it. They get fucked up. And then next thing you know, they're like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not from that. These fucking boyfriends and trainers are telling the women that what's happening to them is not from the drugs. Are you fucking retarded? This is the, the most absurd thing I've ever seen. So pay attention, women. Like, and I think it's fucking so funny. I hope that some of you little fucking motherfuckers are watching this right now. That some of you women got on my fucking Instagram page and said stuff like, Jerry, there's nothing wrong with the big clitoris. Maybe she's born away. And I just click on the fucking pictures of you. And you yourself are a roided out fucking monster woman. I can see it. You're doing muscle worship shit. You look at fucking 19 inch shredded arm. Shut the fuck up. You're saying it's okay because it happened to you. Give me a fucking break. The little bikini competitor who's four feet tall, weighs 85 pounds, doesn't want a clitoris the size of my fucking fist because you say it's okay. For fuck's sake. So the walking dead out there who fucking don't get it and say dumb shit like, Jerry, you lost a fan of me. You don't fucking get it. I don't want fans. I don't want motherfuckers sitting there thinking I'm fucking cool based on someone being politically correct. Saying that it's okay for fucking women to take drugs. It's okay for them to fuck themselves up. Steroids are the greatest thing in fucking the entire planet. That's not real. That's not fucking reality. I don't want you in my reality when you have your own little reality that's kind of fucked up. But the bottom line is I don't want you, I lose fans because then fuck you. Go. Kick rocks. Don't let the door hit you on the fucking ass on the way out. Because the reality is women take this shit and it fucks them up. And if you don't want to hear it, stay off my fucking page. Stay off this fucking, this page right here. Stay off my Instagram. Stay off all that shit. But that's not going to happen. Okay, because you want the information because nobody else is talking about the information. But just sometimes you hear something you don't fucking like because maybe your girlfriend took something or your wife took something and you fucking told them to take it and they got fucked up. And next thing you know, I'm the bad guy for posting a picture for a girl with a clip the size of a fucking fist and saying this can happen to you. Whether she, whether it happened to her or not from those those drugs is, is beyond, besides the point. But the bottom line is this shit fucking happens, okay? And once it happens, it's fucking permanent. And now that I, you know, step back and go, there's a lot of fucking trainers out there doing that. They're telling their fucking, their girls to take this shit. Bikini girls to take growth hormone. Are you fucking kidding me? If you can't get in shape for bikini contest and growth hormone, you need to find another fucking hobby. Biowistertraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowistertraining.com is a blog. This one's for all the dumb fucking trainers and boyfriends who are fucking morons bicep. And we're out.